Welcome to Home Lab Zero to Hero Part 3. Today we're going to be going over the installation of Docker, Portainer, and Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager. It's going to be kind of a long episode, but let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we're going to have to install this package here called ONV Extras, which is going to let us install Docker and Portainer really easily through the Open Media Vault web interface. So first things first, we're going to hop into our terminal. And then we're going to paste a one-liner from the Open Media Vault Extras project. I'll leave a link in the description to their website so you can see what it is. And then hit enter. All right, now that that's done installing, let's go ahead and hop over to the web interface and get Portainer and Docker installed. So when you first log in, you should see this new section here called omv-extras, we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna enable the extras repo and click on save. All right, now that that's enabled, we'll go ahead and come over to Docker. We'll click on this little drop down right here and click on install. And now that Docker is installed, we'll go ahead and click on Portainer and click on install. And now that Portainer is done, we can click on Open Web. That's going to take us to our Portainer interface. Just give yourself a good password and change the username if you want to. And we're going to be managing the local Docker environment. So click Connect. And there we have it. Portainer is installed and running on our Open Media Vault host. So now we're going to go ahead and get Nginx Proxy Manager installed. You're going to come up here and click on Add Container, and then give it a good name. And then for the image, we're going to be using this one from Jay Lesage. I'm going to paste that in the Images section. And then we're going to publish the ports that we need our reverse proxy to use. So on the host, we're going to publish port 80. And then the container is going to be port 8080. And we're also going to publish port 443. And on the container, that's going to be port 4443. And then on the host, we're also going to publish port 81, which is the management interface for Nginx reverse proxy. And the port on the container for that is going to be 8181. For volumes, we're going to map slash config. And we can do that as a bind mount if we want to, or we could just use a volume mount. But for a bind mount, we're going to want to mount a directory inside of this files uh, shared folder that we created in our last video. So the way that we're going to get the path that we want to use is we're going to click on this little arrow, we're going to hover over columns, and then select absolute path. And here you can see it's going to be slash srv slash dev dash disk dash by dash label dash media slash files. And we're going to do the app data subdirectory, and we're going to put it in a folder called nginx. Now, before we start this, we need to go ahead and get that set up. So in order to do that, we're going to hop over into our file manager and create that. All right, so here I have my file manager open, and I've connected to my Open Media Vault share. I'm going to go into this files directory, and you're going to go ahead and log in with the initial user that we created in the Open Media Vault tutorial. All right, and now we're just going to create a new folder, and we're going to call it app data. And then we're going to create another new folder and call it Nginx. And now we can hop back over into Portainer. All right, so we have that as our host path over here. Now we're going to hop into ENV and we're going to add some environment variables. First, we're going to do user ID. That value is going to be 1000. Uh, this is going to be the correct value for you as long as you're having this run as the initial user that we created in the Open Media Vault tutorial. If you're using a different user, 
uh, make sure to find out the correct user ID and correct group ID. And then we're going to add one more environment variable for time zone. And then we're going to hop over to restart policy and select unless stopped, which just means it's going to reboot itself if it runs into any issues. And then we're done. So we click on deploy. All right, it looks like our container is done deploying. So now what we're going to do is open a new tab and we're going to go to the IP address of our Open Media Vault server on port 81. We're going to log in with the default credentials admin at example.com and the password change me, all lowercase. Go ahead and change the email to one that you actually use so you can get updates on your certificates from Let's Encrypt. And change the password. Once again, the current password is change me, all lowercase. And then click on save. And now we're all ready to add a proxy host. So click on hosts and then proxy hosts and then add a proxy host. Enter in the domain name that you have pointing at your IP address. I'm going to do omv.streambands.live. For the scheme, we're going to leave this as HTTP. And for the forward hostname slash IP, we're going to put in the IP address of our Open Media Vault server. On port 801. And then we're going to click on SSL and we're going to request a new SSL certificate. We're going to force SSL and we're going to enable HTTP2 support. We're also going to agree to the Let's Encrypt Terms of Service and click Save. All right, and we are all done here. So we'll click on the omv.streambands.live link, and it'll take us to our Open Media Vault control panel. Now, one thing that Nginx Proxy Manager seems to have an issue with is it doesn't always enable force SSL and HTTP2 support. So we'll just go back and toggle those, and then we're all set. Now you have a good base setup for your home lab, and any services you want to add, you can easily do so behind the reverse proxy and then just forward to them. If there are any services that you want to set up that I haven't done tutorials for yet, you can go through and you just point Nginx Proxy Manager at the right port using the right protocol and you're good to go.